ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಓಂ ಗಣಾಂ ಗಣಪತಿ ಗುಂಹವಾಮಹೆ ಕವಿ ಕವೀನ ಉಪಮಸ್ತಮ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠರಾಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಸ್ಪದ ಆನಶೃಣ್ಮನ್ನೋದಿಭಿಸ್ಸೀದಸಾಧನ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾಗಣಪತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ನಮಃ ಶಿವಾಯ ಗುರವೇ ಸಚ್ಚಿದನಂದಮೂರ್ತ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಪಂಚಾ ಶಾಂತಾಯ ನಿರಾಲಂಬಾ ತೇಜಸೆ ಓಂ ಯಸ್ಯಾತ್ಮೂತ ಗುರುಪ್ರಸಾದ ಅಹಂ ವಿಮುಕ್ತಸ್ಮಿ ಸಂಸಾರಬಂಧಾತ್ ಸರ್ವೋಪದೆಷ್ಟು ಶಿವಾನಂದಮೂರ್ತೆ ಮೃದ್ವಾಕ್ರಿಜುಗ್ಮ ಪ್ರಣದಸ್ಮಿ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ದಯಾಸಿಂಧು ದೀನಬಂಧು ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾಕ್ತಬೋಧನಪಟು ಮಸ್ಕರೀಂದ್ರವರಂ ನೌಮಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಿದಾನಂದಸದ್ಗುರು ಓಂ ಪ್ರಾಣಿನಾಂ ದುಃಖಹರ್ತಾರ ಜ್ಞಾನದೂ ಭುವನ ಮುಕ್ತೇ ಶಿವಾನಂದ ಚಿದಾನಂದು ಆಶ್ರಯೇ ಗುರುಸತ್ತಮೋ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಾತ್ಮನ ಪ್ರಣದ ಸುಲಭಂ ಸಿದ್ಧವಿದ್ಯಾಪ್ರಭಾವ ಬಾಸ್ವದ್ರೂಪ ಸುಗುಣ ನಿಲಿಜ ದಸ್ತಕರ್ಮಾಧಿವರ್ಗ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾವೃದ್ಧ ನಿಜ ಸಮದೃಶ ತಾರದ ತ್ಯಾಗಿಭಜ್ಯ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಈಶ ಮಮ ಗುರುವರ ಶಿವಾನಂದಂ ನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಶಿವಾನಂದಂ ನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಓ ಮನಸ್ತೆ ಪಾದಾಬ್ಜೇ ನಿವಸತು ವಚಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಫಣಿದೌ ಕರೌಜಾಭ್ಯರ್ಥ್ಯಾಂಶ್ರುತಿ ಕಥಾ ಕರ್ಣನ ವಿಧೌ ತವ ಧ್ಯಾನೆ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ನಯನಯುಗಲ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ವಿಭವೇ ಪರಕೃಂದಾನ್ ಕೈರ್ವಾಪರ ವಿಶಿವ ಜಾನೆ ಪರಮದ ಓಂ ಎಸ್ಟಡೇ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ಸು ಎಸ್ಟಡೇ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಸ್ ಅಂಕೋಲಂ ನಿಜ ಬೀಜ ಸಂತತಿ ಅಯಸ್ಕಾಂತೋಪಲ ಸೂಚಿಕ ಸಾಧ್ವೀ ನೈಜ ವಿಭು ಲಥಾಕ್ಷಿಗೃಹಂ ಸಿಂಧು ಸರಿದ್ವಲ್ಲಭಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ನೋದೀಹ ಯಥಾ ತಥಾ ಪಶುಪದೆ ಪಾದಾರವಿಂದದ್ವಯಂ ಚೇತೋ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಉಪೇತ್ಯತಿಷ್ಟತಿ ಸದಾ ಸಾ ಭಕ್ತಿರಿತ್ಯುಚ್ಯತೆ ಸೋ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅ ಡೆಫಿನಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿ ಅಂಕೋಲ ವೃಕ್ಷ ದಟ್ ಬೀಜ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮದರ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟೇಷನಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಮದರ್ಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಐಯನ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟ್ ಆಟೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂಲಿ ವೆಡೆಡ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕಂಟಂಪ್ಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಹರ್ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಮಿಯಾಂಡರ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ದಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಒರಿಜಿನೇಟೆಡ್ so if the mind is like that if they follow this what they do the same thing then that is what is called bhakti he says so that's the best definition you can come across with any shastra somehow when i i got interest in this i used to read all these stotras of shankaracharya all these stotras regularly keep on reading something 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 like that somehow i found the interest in this later on i realized that bhagwan ramana he actually left the home at the age of 12 13 like that he was studying in the 8th standard maybe 13 14 and then he stayed there in ramana ashram that uh, tiruvannamalai that place and those days there was nothing he just he was living on um, begging only those who so ever gives food that he used to eat so he lived like that for quite some time some time nobody recognized him his greatness later on kavya ganta ganapati as someone came and found out that he is uh, Bhag- bhagwan ramana maharshi and all these things so until then nobody recognized him. and uh, he has not practically studied any scripture he has not even studied any scripture in the in the traditional way and uh, and he was speaking about uh, highest philosophy also for that that no scripture is required but later on when he was in the ashram when people his devotees approached him they talked to him 
many times he will not speak suppose if a person new person goes there he will sit he will also sit and when you look into his eyes then you will find there's a vacant look he, somebody suppose if you are if i am looking at you you know that i am looking at you so but when he is looking at you you won't see that he is looking at you you will find that he is looking somewhere that was his condition then narayana guru one great saint from kerala great saint also he went there to see him somebody requested him went there he did not ask anything and uh, ramana bhagwan did not ask him anything he also did not say anything they were sitting like that for some time and then when the food time came let us go for food he said only one word then he took food there and then next day when he when he was going back when narayana guru was going back he wrote us five shlokas nirvrdi panchakam it is called nirvrdi panchakam i have told once come and i gave talk on that nirvrdi panchakam in samadhi mandir so there he starts like that a person who never enquires about you who are you what is your name normally what is your name who are you where from you are coming and what job you are doing are you married a person who does not ask any of these questions such a person is one who is realist that was ramana's character but sometimes during his discussions she has quoted certain bhag this uh, gita shlokas and he used to talk about ripu gita that's one ripu gita they call it as now originally it was a tamil book later on it was sat- translated into sanskrit also nidaga ribu it comes in the bhagavad also there is a slight, small reference so he is used to tell about big scriptures and he has to used to quote 10 shlokas from uh, shivandalagiri 10 shlokas he used to speak whenever he, sometimes when he speaks he used to speak 10 shlokas from gita about 20 30 shlokas sometimes he used to say later on so those ten shlokas i have selected i have taken out which are the ten shlokas ramana bhagwan used to quote and some of them we have covered some we will be covering in later so i will give this to our swami ji to take print out and give to everybody later so he used to speak about these shlokas i have taken from their website only so on the next shloka that is 60 second ananda shrubir atano dipulagam nirmalyata nirmalyata chadanam eh 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 ananda shrubir atano dipulagam nirmalyata chadanam vacha shanka mukhe sthitaischa jatada apurtim चरित्रामृदी रुद्राक्षी भसीते दुषो रक्षा मद्भावना रक्षा भवद्भावना पर्यंगे विनिवेश्य भक्तिजननी भक्तापक रक्षति आनंदाश्रुवि आतनो दिपुलग नैर्मल्यतादन वाचा शंक मुखे स्थित जटरापूर्ति चरित्रामृदी रुद्राक्षी भसीदे न देव वपुषो रक्षा भवद्भावना पर्यंगे विनिवेश भक्तिजननी भक्तापक रक्षति सो हि आर दि श्लोक इज भक्ति इज ए चाइल्ड सो नॉर्मली वेन वी आर बॉन्ड वी डोंट हैव एनी आइडिया अबउट भक्ति आर ज्ञान आर एनी अदर थिंग यू डोंट हैव एनी भक्ति वेन यू आर अ स्मॉल चाइल्ड वाट भक्ति यू हैव even at the age of 5 we will not have bhakti but only something to eat or something to play playing and eating only when in our place also whenever they go to temple they will be playing there and if elephant is there they will going behind the running behind the elephant so the mother and father hey then jay jay karo like that they will make so bhakti is like a child so it grows as a child grows and when we gr- grow up then some problems come then we we'll develop bhakti okay so bhakti grows actually when more and more problems more and more bhakti so bhakti is considered here as a child 
a baby and bhakti grows so bhakti janani means bhakti janani bhakti uh, bhakti janani the mother of bhakti and bhaktar bhagam bhakti is an arbhaga arbhaga means child so bhaktar bhagam bhakta or bhakti bhakti is a child and the mother bhakti janani gives portion and make the child to grow actually as a mother will help the child to grow how he um, raised the child to grow up into a big man we are all nursed fondled and nursed by our mother and fed and brought up so the bhakti janani brings up a child the child is bhakti bhakti is the child and mother bhakti janani bhakti is mother he helps the child to grow how they say so how how a child is um, how the mother helps the child the ch- child has got two interests one to eat when it eats it will sleep so eating and sleeping two functions child will eat and child will sleep in between it will play little so the mother has to do three things to give a bath and make the child clean so that it doesn't get any disease so she gives a bath and make the child clean and neat and then feed and then make it sleep these three things mother will be taking care she has to clean the child give a bath and make the child cute and then feed and then make it to sleep so this bhakti janani is doing all these things how she does the mother how she does ananda shrubirata noti pulagam ananda shrubihi ata noti pulagam pulagam means hari pulations that so when a child is given bath it will do like this cold water hot water also it won't like it will do like this so ananda shrubihi ata noti pulagam ananda ashru ashru means tears so when you hear good stories of bhagwan some katha then what happens tears will come tears will come in our especially i have seen in kerala when they will tell the stories the people will be doing like this nanananda <laughs> saraswati was one swami ji initiated by gurudev he is a disciple of gurudev he is one of the best exponent of uh, bhagavat and his samadhi is there in the palgad divine society i used to go to him also such a wonderful speaker so total bhakti people will be sitting with the tears no no joke will be there and no music will be there totally this divorce will be there so people will even here also sometimes when stories are nicely told tears will come so that with the tears the bhakti is given the bhakti baby is given bath so when tears come in your eyes when you hear the story of bhagwan when you think about bhagwan when tears comes that is the first sign of god entering into your mind when tears come in the eyes prahlada later on explains how the bhaktas gunas i will try to find out also after this so so the ananda ashrubi atano that tears is a tears of joy bhagwan's leela something you hear tears will come so pulagam so he gives the bath then nairmalyada cha nairmalyada 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 chadanam then after the bath is over then the child has to be given some put some dress some dress has to put and then makeup has to be made so the what is the achadana uh, achadana means chadana means covering so that covering is nairmalyada nirmalyada purity is the dress so the bath is taken with the ananda shru and nirmalyada nairmalyata is the achadana covering this covering is called nair achadana then they will give feeding the they then after bath they feed the child 
then put it into the bed. So what is the food? Vacha Shanka Mukhe Stitaishtya Jatara Purtim Jatara Purtim The stomach is filled means the child is fed. How is it is fed? Vacha Shanka Mukhe Shanka Mukhe means and nowadays the children are fed with bottle and nipple. In those days they don't do that. There will be one one vessel will be there like a like a shankar, it will be like shankar and it will be made of a, a brass or cup, something like that, in that they will put the mouth and then they will put it into the mouth like that. It will be sharp, you keep it there and put it. That in our place, it is called Gokarna. Gokarna means it is, will be look like uh, this uh, cow's ear, you know. Eh? Gokarnam they call it. Uh, shanka, also otherwise Shankar, in Malayalam they will say Shankamukha. But in Tamil they say Gokarna, both words are both are correct. Sanskrit, Malayalam also they can say Gokarna, but normally they will say Shankamukha. So Gokarna, with Gokarna they will put. So Vacha, that's go, what is that Gokarna? Vacha Shankamukha is Chitaishya. Shank, vacha means Veda Vakyas. Charita Amrutaihi, Charitra Amrutaihi. Vacha Shankamukha is Chitaishya Dada Puttim Charitra Amrutaihi. Bhagavad Charitra Amrutha. Bhagavad Katha Amrutha. Vedokta Bhagavad Kathamrata or Puranokta Kathamrata, Kathamrata. So that Kathamrata is the food and it is fed with, uh, with this Gok, Shankamukha. So this Bhagavan's Charitra, Bhagavan's Kathas, Lila Kathas, that is the food it is given. Rudrakshir Basideyana Deva Babujo Raksham. Then afterwards they put, this, they put up some powder and then some black spot and all these things they put. So Rudraksha and Vibhuti, all these things are the uh, Raksha. Normally they put the Raksha means this put they put for Raksha only. Now they do this after the child, before the child, sometimes they do like this and then to don't you know all these things? Uh, uh, it's common everywhere, your mother must have done for you also. <laughs> so they do like that and put, put a, one spot here, beauty spot, the black spot. So all these things. So these are all Raksha. So Rudrakshir, Rudrakshir Bhasitena, Deva, 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 Hey Deva, Vapujo Raksham, and they protect this body of the child, this Bhakti, Bhakti's body with all these things. And Bhavad, Bhavana Paryanga, Paryanga means? Paryanga means belt. Bhavad Bhavana Paryanga, Bhagavad Bhavana, Bhagavad Dhyana Paryanga, meditation or God or Contemplation on God is the Paryanga. Paryanga means the bed. Or sometimes they put it on a cradle and do it. Paryanga Deva Babujo Raksham Bhavat Bhavana Paryanga Vinivesya. So they are having put that Bhakti Janani, Bhaktat Bhagam Rakshati, Bhakti Janani, that mother of that Bhakti, she protects that child and all of it should grow. So that is how the Bhakti is protected. Hey Deva, hey Bhagavan, it is like that they say. You give me that. Yeah. This is Narada explains about uh, about Prahlada. It's not what I told. Narada explains about how the Prahlada lived. Before the story is started, Narada tells to Yudhishthira. Because Yudhishthira in that Rajasu Yajna. Then Yudhishthira, the Yajna was going on and then Shishupala was killed by Bhagavan. When Shishupala was killed, Shishupala's Atma entered into Bhagavan. So he got Sayuji Mukti. Then Yudhishthira had a doubt. If this fellow who was always scolding Bhagavan, and if he gets moksha, what, what will be the, our case? What he is doing, Shishupala is doing, opposite we are doing. Shishupala is an enemy of Bhagavan. We are close front of Bhagavan. Shishupala always calls, we always praise him. So if he gets moksha, what will be our condition? It will not be the opposite, that fear came. So he asked, what is, how it happens like that? Then Narada explains it. Then it is not, doesn't matter. Tasmat ke na pyupayena mana krishna It doesn't matter what is your bhava. With some bhava you have your mind. Your mind should be with Bhagavan. What bhava you have that he doesn't bother. 
Different people comes out got moksha because he comes out of fear. Gopi is out of prema. And bhakti avayam, we have bhakti. Different people, different, different bhava. Whatever be your bhava, if your bhava is on Bhagavan, you get that moksha. You, you, you are close to Bhagavan. So you can also be enemy to Bhagavan, no problem. But you should be total enemy, absolute enemy. Not little, little like that. So then about, then she says about what is the Prakhlada. So it is the seventh skanda, fourth chapter. Kojit Rudati, Kojit Rudati, Vaikunta Chinta Sabala Chetanaha, Kojit Hasadi, Tachinta Khlada Udgayati, Kojit Kojit Rudati, Rudati means sometimes he will weep. The Bhaktas will sometimes, the separation of Bhagavan, Bhagavan, I am not able to see you, so they weep. Kojit Rudati, Vaikunta Chinta Sabala Chetanaha, because of the Vaikunta Chinta. I am not able to see him, so tears come in his eyes. Kojit Hasadi, Tat Chinta Khlada, sometimes they chin, think about Bhagavan and they are in a happy mood. Kojit Hasadi, sometimes they laugh. Udgajati Kojit, then sometimes they sing Bhagavan's name with Uchaiswara. Nadadi Kojit Ulkanto, Nadadi Kojit, that they, sometimes they are through some pain. Vilajjo nritya jikkojit Sometimes without any lajja they dance. Kojit tadbhavana yuktaha Tanmayo anichakaraha Kojit tadbhavana yuktaha Because of the Bhagavad Bhavana They act as if he acts. What he was doing that he, he does. He forgot that his original nature and thinks that I am Sri Krishna and he acts like that. You know that that Dandavaktra, Dandavaktra is imitating Bhagavan. But actually, he was identifying with Bhagavan. So, that is actually Shishuvala because of Dvesha. Dandavaktra is an identification. He has become that actually. So, here also, Kojit Tat Bhavana Yuktaha. Are you getting the meaning when I split these words? Tat Bhavana Yuktaha San Kojit Tanmayo. Tanmayaha, Bhutva, Anichakaraha, whatever he does, that he does. Kojit Utpulagas Tushnim, Asid, Samsparshana Nirvurdaha, Kojit Utpulagaha, Utpulagaha means aripulation, body aripulation has come. He feels that Bhagavan is here. Bhagavan is uh, touching me. Bhagavan, I am feeding Bhagavan. All these people used to do also in this. Jagaraj uh, Swamji and others. They used to daily do puja to Bhagavan. They treat like Bhagavan as their child. Then they do all the service. So Bhagavan is uh, now taking rest. They put to sleep Bhagavan. Even in temples also. Then Bhagavan from morning. Bhagavan has to be given morning bell, alarm. You have to wake him up actually. In Tripadi also there is Suprabhadam. Uttishta go, Uttishto, Tishta go vinda, Uttishta gerdat vaja, Uttishta kamalakansa, Trailochyam mangalam guru. Bhagavan, you wake up Bhagavan, sleeping and wake up. Then, Kausalya supraja rama, Purva sandhya pravartate, Uttishta narasat dhula, Kartabhyam deva manikam. So, this is Vishamitra tells. So, yeah. She feels like that. So like that they give, make the Bhagavan to get up and then Bhagavan give bath. What is the puja? Ultimately we are only giving bath to Bhagavan, feeding Bhagavan. Do you really feel? You feel as if Bhagavan is taking food. Then haripulation will come. Are you, is it okay? Are you, the food is okay? What you have, whether you have prepared properly. <laughs> so whether we are giving food. So are you feeling okay? So then Bhagavan says, okay, it is wonderful. Then you have got a joy. Today you have put little more salt into this. I am not able to enjoy. Oh, very sad. I am very so happy. sorry, Bhagavan. All this bhavana can be possible, you see. And uh, this uh, Jagaraja and all these people have had all this bhava. Most of the songs are like that. And the songs of Bhagavan, tell you that songs of Jagaraja Swamji's songs are like that only. So, 
क्वचिदुक्त तन्मयो अनचार क्वचि उत्पलगस्तूष्णी वास्ते संपर्श निर्वृद देन हरिपुलेशन इज देर एंड देन सिट्स क्वैट यू वॉज नॉट अवेर ऑफ ईवन दि टाइम अस्पंदप अस्पंद प्रणयानंद सलीला मिलित लक्षण अस्पंद प्रणयानंद सलीला मिलित लक्षण एंड देन आमीलित लक्षण मीन ईज ओपन दिट लाइक दिस आर अमीलित लोचन क्लोज दि ईस एंड सिट सो यू आर गेटिंग इनवाल विथ भगवान दिस है feeling that it is happening actually huh? now we are feeling that the world is real what is our condition we feel feel the world is real what a nonsense it is it is not real bhagwan is the real here but we consider bhagwan is not there world is real so the this, this is the rakshana so uttama shloka padara bindayo nishevaya akinjana sangalabdhaya tannan param nirbhuti matmano muhu दुस्संग दीन अन्य मनस्य मम्यता सो लाइक दैट भगवान से लक्षण दीस आर दि भक्ति लक्षण सो दिस ग्रोथ कम्स दि भक्ति भक्ति माता मेक्स पुष्टि टू दट चाइल्ड बै डूइंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स दट ईज वाट शी डस् आनंद अश्रुभि आदनोदी पुलक विद आनंद अश्रु शी गिव से बात निर्मल्य दादन विथ विथ निर्मलता Purity is the achadana. Vacha shankam ukhem sthiteshche jatara apurtim charitra amrdehi bhagavat charitra amrdehi jatara apurtim karoti. Rudraksha irvasi dene deva babujo raksham with Rudraksha and Basma and all these marks he puts raksha to that bhakti. Bhavat bhavana parjenge vini veshya and making you to lie down on the Bhagwan's bhavana. काट भक्तात्मक रक्षति सा भक्ति जननी भक्ति जननी दैट हाउस शी प्रोटेक्ट सो दैट भक्ति जननी हेज टू प्रोटेक्ट दि भक्ति इन ऑल ऑफ अस ओके नेक्स्ट श्लोक नेक्स्ट श्लोक ही से अल्टिमेटली द माइंड हेज टू बी गिवन टू दि भगवा आल अदर थिंग्स आर सैकंडरी आल अदर थिंग्स आर सैकंडरी सो दैट भगवान दे आचार्य से वन ब्यूटिफुल श्लोक This sloka is about the Kalahasti Chetra. Kalahasti, there is a place called Kalahasti in Andhra Pradesh, in the border of Madras and uh, Andhra, in the borderland. That place is called Kalahasti, you know. And uh, that place is this place. Uh, that place is a uh, that was there was one. It was in the dark, uh, forest those days. The Asashramam one branch is there. The Swamiji used to be there. We are all gone there. That Kalas is very near to the uh, Balaji Temple, Dir- Tirumala, Tirupati. So that Kalas is Chetra Shiva, and uh, it was in the forest. So in that forest, so one the temple was there. So one priest used to come. The priest, your name, you know, uh, some name was original name. Name was in that uh, Gurudev has mentioned in that book also, sixty-three nine mark stories that he ma- mentions. So the one priest was there. He has got some name. I don't remember his name. And eh? Kanapan is the bhakti devotee. The priest is not. Kanapan is a hunter. So this uh, he priest used come and do, do the puja and go. One hunter was there. His name was Tim Timman. Timman, I think. His original this man's hunter's name is Timman. Priest name I do not know. The Timman used to see what is this man doing. So he comes pour water and give bath to Bhagwan. Then some food he gives, some flowers he puts. Then he goes. He also wanted to do it. So that man went away. So all right, I will also do. He is a small boy, and he has no on this arthi plate and like this vessels. Nothing was there. So he went. All right, I will have flowers. So he went into the forest and collected some flowers. And then food is required. Bhagwan, everything has to be given. So he went and hunted an animal, deer, and then little flesh he took, and then he took and then whether it is good or, or bad, we should say tested. Bhagwan should not say later on this is not good. Okay, right? But he kept, and then little water is required. He has no vessel, so he went to the river and put little water in his mouth, 
and keep and he is you do the oh, like that you do the abhishega and this he will keep flower he will put namaskar also he will do namaskar he will do and go away next day that man comes he comes and then this is going on what is his nonsense so he has to remove and do the punyaha so he does the punyaha again next day it happens so one day he was thinking bhagwan what is this somebody is doing like this then bhagwan said no no you see today you hide here and see what is happening he said i like him you hide here yourself here and see what is your devotion is good his devotion is also very good you go and see how can it be good bhagwan he is doing all nonsense no no it is all good okay i like it he said uh, then that day he comes and then he is he saw that he is coming like that and then he kept then after this while he was watching there was some blood was coming from bhagwan's eyes so this fellow thought oh bhagwan's eye has got some problem so he knows some medicines so that leaf he collected and uh, treated with that it is not going okay i will give my eye to you he said so with an arrow he plucked his eye and kept there when he kept there it became all right then oh he was very happy so here blood is oozing but he kept i gave eye to bhagwan and he was all right so when he was looking like that second eye started bleeding when the second eye started bleeding what to do he was thinking all right i will give this eye also so he was about to pluck that second eye if i pluck the second eye how will we know where to keep it one eye already lost both eyes are gone where to keep so in order to recognize he kept his toe on the bhagwan's eyes he lifted his leg and kept his leg there and started pulling the second eye so then bhagwan came and stopped him stopped him and then so bhagwan called him kannappa kannappa means kanna means i so kannappa he called so that his name gurudev has written this the story in the 63 nine ma story so all these devotees most of them are not brahmins the <laughs> vaishnava acharyas all these stories are all most of them are not brahmins some of them are scheduled caste paraya like that paraya the most of them are not brahmins so bhakti has no caste and other things they need not study big veda and all these things so so then so that is the story sankracharya remembers this and this is the shloka मगावर्तित पादुका पशुपतेर्ंगस्थ्यकूर्चाजते गंडूषाबुनिषेचनम पुरिपो दिव्याषेकाय ते किंचिभक्षितंसलेशकबल मंसशेषकबल नव्योपहाराजते भक्ति किन्न करो वनचरो भक्तावतंसाय ते सो वाट भक्ति के नाट डू bhakti cannot do karna pa has become considered as bhakta what bhakti cannot do it can do anything no rules nothing is applicable all things are condoned actually so he becomes the greatest bhakta how is it possible then he says marga vatida paduka the hunters paduka that paduka which goes everywhere it is not even cleaned you will go with the same paduka to bathroom also <laughs> and you will go everywhere so that paduga which he uses to walk wherever he goes that becomes pashupadir angasya kurcha yate kurcha is a technical word when we do abhishekha to bhagwan the traditional brahmins when they do abhishekha they will not pour water straight away on the bhagwan's head they will keep a darba is a particular way of tying the darba is there three darbas are taken together and a knot will be put and that it is kept there over that only they will pour the water they will not pour water directly like this when the vaidhik abhishek is being done so kurcha that is called kurcha kurcha means darba darba grass kusha grass tied in a particular fashion one another fashion if you cut a tie and put it here it is called pavitra not you the pavitra they will put here eh? they tie it in a way and then put it here then that apavitra pavitra vaad this is the meaning whether i am pavitra or not whether i am wearing the pavitra or not both meanings are there 
दर्भेशवासी न दर्भान धारेम पवित्र धृत्वा आल दीज थिंग दे विल से यू सिट ऑन दि दर्भ एंड हाव दर्भ हियर पवित्र यू पुट युवर्स एंड देन स्टार्ट सो दिस् कूर्च मगवर्तिदुका पशुपते रंग कूर्चाते फॉर युवर उत्तम अंग फॉर युवर शिस् ऑल दीस् वैदिक पंडित दे कीप दिस् कूर्च इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट दिस् फेलो कैप्ट युवर हिस् पादगा Paduga, his Paduga, you consider as a kurcha, and then gandu sham. Gandu sham is this what the water you take in the mouth, gargling water. That is called gandu sham. Gandu sham punse chanam puri dipo ho divya pise ka jate. So that gandu sham bo, that water, this puri dipo ho puri dipo chhi tripare tripare hari puri dipo ho. Divya Abhishega, yeah, they all the mantra, Veda mantras are told, and what do the Abhishega? That Abhishega you consider it equal to that. Kinjit Bhakshita, Mamsa Shesha Kabalam, it Mamsa he has eaten, and the Shesha, the balance left over, Navyopahara, yeah, they it becomes a beautiful bog. Bhakti kimna karo tya ho, what bhakti cannot do, Bhagwan? Manicharo bhakta vatamsa ye the that manichara ha manichara ha means the hunter. Hunter is considered as the best best devotee. He is on par with the pragalada, druva, and all these things. What bhakti cannot do? So bhakti, so it does not matter what you are doing, where your mind is, what is your bhava. Ultimately, what is our bhava in that? That is most important here. What we do is not important. All these things are not condemned. All these things are okay. Study of scriptures and all these things are perfectly okay. But where is the bhava? So that is the second sloka, third sloka. Bhakshastaarana mandha kasya katina katina kapit katina apasmara sammartanam bhu brutya padyatanam namat sur namas namas sura chira is there. That should be namat sura. ओके नमः स्वर स्वामी जी दैट पार्ट व्हाट इज द पार्ट नम नम नमः स्वर मींस नमः स्वर इट विल बिकम लाइक दैट इट इज एक्चुअली नमः स्वर से रहा सो इट शुड बी नमः ता ता यू शुड पुट नमः स्वर से रह कोटीर संघर्षणम कर्मेदम मृदुलस्य तावग पद धुंदस्य गौरी पते इज देयर गौरी पते इज ओके बट आवर पार्ट इज किं वोचित किं वा उचित किं गौरी पदे इंस्टेड ऑफ गौरी पदे यू हेव किं वोचित किं वोचित किं वा उचित किं वोचित मच्चे तो मणि ओके मच्चे तो मणिपाद का विखरण शंभो सदा अंकी कुरु आई विल ऑल्सो करेक्ट हियर किं वोचित पक्षस्ताटन मंतक से कठिन अपस्मार संवर्धन भूवृत्पर्यटन नमच्चिकोटीर संकर्षण कर्मेद मृदुल से तावक पदद्वंद से गौरीपते मच्चे तो मणिपादुका विहरण शंभो सदा अंगीकुर डिवोटी इज कंसिडरिंग इंटराक्षन वित् भगवा Bhagwan is not somebody who is far away from us. He must be available to you here. Bhagwan is sitting in the Vaikuntha, or Kailasa Parvata, and it is not available to us. Means, what is the use of that Bhagwan? So he should be available here. You should be able to interact with him. That is bhakti. So here the devotee thinks like this: Bhakshastaata na mandha kasya. Hey Bhagwan, what are you doing every day? What are things you are doing? He looks at Bhagwan. What are things you are doing? So, in the case of Markandeya story, he remembers. Markandeya's father, Murugandu, Murugandu uh, prayed for a child. Then Bhagwan said, "All right, you will have a child. He will have only 16 years. He will be a very intelligent child, good child." Otherwise, I will give you another child who will have hundred years, but he will be useless. Then Bhagwan and that Murugandu said, "All right, sixteen-year boy is okay." So sixteen-year boy came. 
So on the 16th year he has to die. So they told him and he went that he was doing puja to Bhagavan. So he did Alingana to Bhagavan. He was doing Alingana puja. So the other day I told you that when you do Bhagavan you should keep your on your eyes, on your head and do Alingana also. So Alingana puja this also is there some you go and hug Bhagavan. So he was hugging Bhagavan. At that time his time was over. So the Yama came and he put the noose to take him. Then when he was pulling Bhagavan and it, it goes round the Bhagavan also. Bhagavan thought, what nonsense you are doing? She got up and <laughs> he gave him one bit, he ran away. <laughs> so he kicked him actually. So Vakshastadana Mantakasya, you are kicking on the chest of Yama. Bhagavan's duty is Vakshastadana Mantakasya. Or if with one leg you kicked him, what the other leg is doing? Kachina apasmara sammardhanam. The second leg is Bhagavan Nataraja Bhagavan Shiva is dancing. The one devil will be there underneath his leg. You have seen? Bhagavan Shiva's one leg underneath. Eh? Our Nataraja Vigraha, you see that one apasmara is. Apasmara, normally apasmara is translated as epilepsy. Apasmara is actually a demon. So that demon, that demon he has, under, he has controlling him under his feet. So with one leg you kick the yama, and the other leg you are keeping on the top of a uh, apasmara, apasmara uh, asura. Bhubrit padyadanam, bhubrit padyadanam, bhubrit means mountains. And Bhagavan is uh, Kailasa was here, the Kedar, Kedar, Kailas, Arunachala, all hills only he stays. So and he has to walk, he has to go there here. So you are walking on the rugged paths of the mountains. And then in addition to that, Namat Shiraha, Namat, Namat Surashira Koti, Koti Rasangarshanam. And when you are sitting somewhere, then this Devatas, Surya means Devatas. All the Devatas will come and prostrate to you. When they prostrate, they don't remove their Kirida, Mukut is there, they will not remove, they will just prostrate like that. So that sometimes they will not know how much that length is there, so it will hit your leg also. So sometimes it hits your leg also. So all these parts, Karme Dhammurdalasya, Ye Bhagavan, all these are problems for your nice feet. Karme Dhammurdalasya Tavaga, Padat Dhandasya, you are Pada Dvanda, your Pada Dvanda, Pada Yukma, Pada Yugalam is disturbed by all these things. It is all things are very rough things. Whether your lotus like feet will not be affected by all these things. Pada Dvanda, Siddhavaga, Pada Simba, Ujidam, all these things, your karma, what you are doing is good for you. Barefooted, you are so. Uh, this Bhagavan here is wearing a chapel. He never wears a chapel. Our artist made <laughs> so many mistakes. He has given the blue color. He is wearing a chapel. <laughs> he has come for Miksha and wearing a chapel and going to the inside with the chapel. <laughs> what type of picture he has put? You see? <laughs> pa- with Padiga. Padiga, you cannot go with Padiga. <laughs> so it is not, he has no, pa- no Padiga. So he walks up and down on the hills without chapel and kicks the yama and uh, also the kala is there under his feet. So all these karmas, all right, whether it uh, it suits you, whether it is suitable to you, will it not affect your leg? So don't use this, I tell you something. Macheto manipaduka viharanam machitta, macheto manipaduka, my mind is like a Jump. Mani, pa, mani Paduga is my Cheto Mani Paduga. Or my Chetaka Mani Paduga. Both ways. My, my, cheto, my mind is like a jump. You can use that as your Paduga so that your leg will be protected. Macheto Mani Paduga Viharanam Shambho Sada Angi Guru. So the Shambho Angi Guru. This is my request. You have my mind as your Paduga and walk. Don't hurt your leg. That is the prayer. Is it okay?
So this much we will see. Next sloka also, Vakshastadana Sankhaya, same, same word he uses. Vakshastadana Antagasya, Vakshastadana Sankhaya. So that one word he uses. In both the slokas, giving different, different meanings. Okay? That we will see tomorrow. Tot padam buja marche yami paramam Tvam chinta yam yannaham Tvam isham saranam prajami vachasam Tvam eva yache vibhom Viksham me disha chakshushim sakarunam divye Chiram prarthitam Shambho loka guru Madhiya manasaha saukyopadesham kudu Shambho loka guru Madhiya manasaha Sakyopadesham Kuru